Welcome to API Kitchen, where we hook up secure API. I'm confident statement, your chef de cuisine in this unique kitchen. In today's episode, we are going to unravel the secrets of JSON Web Tokens, simply called JWTs. JWTs are a popular method for authentication and authorization in APIs, but understanding their inner workings is really crucial for identifying potential vulnerabilities and protecting against a top API security risk called broken authentication. But before we dive into today's episode, let's take a moment to thank our sponsor, Product Dive, for their generous support. Product Dive is committed to empowering both experienced and aspiring product managers, enabling them to master their craft, deliver exceptional products that meet customer needs, and help their careers in product management to new heights. You know in our API kitchen that in each episode, we open our mystery box to review a kitchen utensil or ingredient that symbolizes an important concept related to API security. So let's see what's in store for us today. Hey, uh, uh, okay. Woo, this one is heavy. <laughs> it's a chef's knife, a versatile tool in the kitchen of any good chef. Just like APIs are versatile in the digital world. But what does it have to do with our topic today, you may be asking? Well, this chef's knife represents broken authentication vulnerability, where tokens can be manipulated just like ingredients can be sliced and diced. Tokens are like secret keys in the kitchen of authentication and authorization. They validate the identity and access rights of clients. However, if not handled with care, like I hand in this knife, they can become the secret ingredients for vulnerabilities in the authentication system. You wouldn't want that. Therefore, token manipulation testing involves examining the behavior of authentication tokens in use in the API. The goal is to identify vulnerabilities relating to token handling. JSON web tokens are commonly used as authentication tokens. They are encoded in Base64 URL, which makes it easy for users to decode and view the data. They consist of three components, the header, the payload, and the signature. These components are separated by dots. I begin with EY. So let's take a closer look at each of them. The header usually contains crucial information about the token, such as the signing algorithm you used. It specifies how the token is signed and validated. Now let's consider an example like this one. And in this example, the algorithm specified is HMAC with SHA-256. The choice of algorithm affects the security of the token. You must remember this. Now, to help you understand this important concept better, I have an analogy for you. So now, imagine you are a chef in a bustling restaurant and your signature dish is the token-based authentication system. The algorithm you choose to season your dish can make or break its security. In our kitchen, we have two chefs preparing their token recipes. Chef A, for example, decides to use HMAC with SHA-256, a robust and trusted algorithm. This choice adds an extra layer of security to their tokens, making them resistant to tampering and forgery. On the other hand, Chef B opts for a weaker algorithm, let's say plain MD5. The algorithm is like a pinch of salt instead of a secret blend of spices. It may still authenticate the users, right? But it leaves the tokens vulnerable to attacks as MD5 has known vulnerabilities. So now imagine a mischievous hacker, let's call them Flavor Thief, sneaking into the kitchen. They have mastered the art of token manipulation. And I mean, I mean they may be on the hunt for the weakest dish. Naturally, Chef B's token catches the attention with a few clever maneuvers here and there. The flavor thief easily cracks Chef B's token seasoned with MD5. They can forge their own tokens, impersonate users, and get unauthorized access to the APIs. Meanwhile, Chef A's tokens, fortified with HMAC and SHA-256, present a tougher challenge for the flavor thief. The stronger algorithm acts as a shield, preventing unauthorized access and maintaining the integrity of the authentication system. Remember, dear viewers, in the API kitchen, the algorithm you choose for your tokens determines the level of security you bring to the table. So always strive for the finest blend of algorithms to protect your authentication dishes from the flavor thieves of the digital world. Now, moving on to the payload. 
It usually carries information about the user and additional data. This can include details like the issuer, expiration time, subject, and more. Now here we have a payload that contains the user, subject, name, and the issued at timestamp. The payload provides valuable information about the token and its associated user. Lastly, we have the signature. The signature is created by taking the encoded header, the encoded payload, a secret key, and signing them using the algorithm specified in the header that we discussed earlier. Now, let me demonstrate this. The signature ensures the integrity of the token by validating that it hasn't been tampered with. It adds an extra layer of security to the authentication process as well. Now that we understand the structure of JWTs, let's discuss the risk of token manipulation. Witnesses in JSON web tokens can potentially allow you to use tokens that have already been used by another user, granting unauthorized access. This is why it's crucial to implement proper security measures when handling tokens. As you can see, understanding the structure and components of JWTs is really essential to identifying potential vulnerabilities and ensuring the security of your API authentication. By examining the header, payload, and signature, you can gain insight into the token's validity and integrity. Remember, JWTs are encoded in Base64 URL, making it relatively easy to decode and view the data they contain. Now let's bring you a message from our sponsor. Are you looking to make a successful transition into the exciting world of tech as a product manager? Look no further. API Kitchen is proud to introduce Product Dive and their transformative offering, TPM. Regardless of your career background, TPM is designed to equip you with all the essential tools and knowledge you need to excel in product management. With their proven curriculum, you'll gain access to case studies, templates, and practical knowledge that will set you up for a thriving career. And here's the cherry on top. TPM offers a three-month internship opportunity with organizations through the, the prestigious Product Dive Apprenticeship Program. The invaluable experience will further enhance your CV with industry-specific expertise. So don't miss out on an incredible opportunity. Visit Product Dive's website to learn more. Now that's it on today's episode on decoding JWTs, understanding the token structure. We've unveiled the secrets of JWTs that explore their significance in API security. In our next episode, we will continue our discussion of broken authentication. I will explore the importance of selecting robust signing algorithms and the impacts they have on the token's integrity. Join us next time as we explore another exciting API security topic and unveil a new mystery box item. Remember to subscribe to CCNet TV and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new episodes of API Kitting showing each Thursday. Until then, keep your kitchen clean, your code cleaner, and your APIs 